Planaria, Anatomy and Function. Planaria are free-living flatworms belonging to the phylum Platyhelminthes and the class Turbellaria. They display bilateral symmetry, which means that they can be cut into two equal halves in only one way, a right half and a left half. They also display cephalization. Cephalization is a concentration of sensory organs and nervous control at the anterior end of the body, having a head and a brain, basically. They have an incomplete digestive tract, which enters and exits through the pharynx. Here is a prepared slide of planaria. The first structure we're going to look at is right here, it is called the gastrovascular cavity. The gastrovascular cavity is a large cavity that takes the place of gastrointestinal systems and circulatory systems. Nutrients and oxygen are absorbed through the process of diffusion. Next, we'll look at the auricle. The auricle is a little pointed structure on the head of the flatworm. They have chemoreceptors to help them find food. They are also very sensitive to touch. Next, we come to the eye spots, or ocelli. These eye spots are shallow depressions that have photoreceptors that will detect intensity of light. The last structure we'll look at today is the pharynx. Now, the pharynx opening is the mouth. It's very muscular. It allows this animal to suck up its food. And the pharynx leads into the gastrovascular cavity where diffusion takes place. In summary, here are the four structures that we looked at in today's video. The gastrovascular cavity, the auricle, the eye spot, and the pharynx. I hope you enjoyed this video over the anatomy of the planaria and look for my related quiz over the anatomical structures of a planaria. Please don't forget to like the video and if you liked it, why not subscribe?